Uh, I just missed it. My uh, partner uh, just pissed his pants. Okay. It's Jack in a box. Circumstantial. Of course it is. Oh, yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Definitely. Now, what keeps vibrating? Weird, wild stuff. I'm not copying DSP for saying that. Just came to mind. You hungry or something, Phelps? Yep. Aha. I'd say that's pretty good value for twelve cents. Factory seal. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Yes, definitely. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Yeah, right here. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. Dates and times seem pretty regular. Yeah. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all of the clues, right? Yeah, I don't want to miss anything. You're behind the wheel. Let's go to Where the soup place. Nice yellow car. Come on. I'm waiting, Roy. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from the owners yet. Yeah. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? <laughs> I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Definitely. Car. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. I, I don't think I've ever seen these cars before. Huh. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. Take me to this, Mr. Parnell, Parnell, Howard Parnell. You just wanted to follow her, didn't you? You sly dog. <laughs> I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. Oh my he god. He ain't saying goodbye, but he loves watching the lady. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> That's such a douchebag. Ignore the phone. Ignore the phone. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. Oh problem. my god. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. Are you kidding? How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans. 
All sealed up tight with your label on it. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. Ooh. On the desk, please. Oh, of course, yes. Very nice. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Mm. I don't even know the names of the guys we have right now. Yeah. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Let's watch his face for a minute. Ah, uh, doubt. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. <laughs> Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of Yes. Enemies. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in the aircraft factory. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. That's a doubt. a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. <laughs> Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are yes. a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Nice. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. I'm going to ask the community. Yeah, why? That's what I pretty much Tell figured. Tell the truth by now. You and Cruz are moving dope from Mexico and packaging it up here. I am telling the truth. You don't have one scrap of evidence that says I'm behind this. I don't need any what? more federal intervention in my business. Dang it! So stop making accusations and let's I don't know. What is the evidence? Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I have no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Let's watch this guy. That's, a, that's truth, I think. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning Good. shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. He'll probably run. I hate seeing how things are made. It's going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Fascinating. 
this is an exciting game plan now. 